Hi there. So I've had several friends ask and people asking me about our trip. My husband and I just took a trip. It was 18 days um, across Europe, started in London, ended in Barcelona. We went from what we were expecting. We went up to Scotland, so we were expecting cold, like in the 40s and 50s, all the way to the 70s and, you know, high 70s in Barcelona and Italy. So we packed for like this kind of a wide range of um like a wide range of temperatures but turned out that it wasn't actually that different we were like in the 60s in england up to the 70s and then in the upper 70s when we were in italy and barcelona so we ended up packing things we didn't need which i hated that we were lugging around items oh i forgot to mention the most important part we actually packed in just two backpacks so, and they are carry or personal sized bag backpacks, not a carry on sized backpack. So I wanted to show you quickly, since I've had lots of, how did that work out? And what did you think about that? I wanted to show you our backpacks, what we took and how we packed them. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, I have this one. This one we officially called Dirks, my husband. So this we have one thing, oops. We took our puffer coats and our puffer coats both uh, go in these little pouches. This one is essentially my pack. We call it mine. So, I don't know. And then that's my puffer coat. And what we did is, I had read this somewhere, that you can carabine, carabine, carabiners, carabiners, whatever, little clips. You can clip on to the outside of your backpack, something like this, or even a pair of shoes. And it will be allowed it doesn't count as part of the dimension of your backpack. So these backpacks are each essentially 19 inches tall by 15, 14 inches wide by nine inches deep. And I think, you know, yes, we have to push in a little bit, but I think we are roughly right in that range. They always fit into those slide in, check to make sure that it counts as hand luggage. And we were never questioned at all. So that's another thing I think was important to know. So these two carabiners, um, our, our puffer coats, which served nice because sometimes we were more worried about rain than cold. We could just take that. My husband would clip it on to his belt loop, which you can't see that I would actually have a belt loop here. He would just clip it onto his belt loop over here. And then we would take the, you know, take that for the day. And occasionally we put two on one and then we had it with us if we needed it. And if we didn't need it, great. Whenever we could, we would leave our luggage at the hotel if it was before we checked in or while we were checked in at a hotel. We would leave our backpacks and not use them for the whole day. But we also took in an outside pocket here. Hopefully you can see all this. So outside on these outside pockets of the, the backpack, I took along, we took along <clears throat> a shopping bag, like just a regular handled shopping bag okay and it happens to have velcro so i liked that i could roll my two bags up together that came in handy on occasion if we were out and we needed to like especially if we would have gone to the beach we never did go sit on the beach but if we would have that would have been a great thing to have we used it once we went to the grocery and i think there was another time that we used it to carry things with us but usually we used our backpack so we had this type of just one of these lightweight little nylon backpacks from our daughter's alumni and we would put, we would put, sometimes we even threw these in there um, for the day, a bottle of water, maybe, um, I don't know if there was anything else that we might have needed while we were out and anything that we would pick up if we bought any souvenirs or anything. And then of course we would just carry that while we were out and leave these backpacks at home or back at our, you know, at our hotel, so to speak. So, okay, so that is some of the outside function. Obviously, on this particular backpack here, my husband, we used, we would often keep a water bottle, but he just happened to have apple juice yesterday on our way home, and it's still there. Throwing everything behind me, so the bed behind me is going to end up looking like a mess, but I want to show you. So then we had this pocket, which we kept, this front pocket here, we had Dirk's sunglasses. He drove in Italy, so we felt like sunglasses were an important thing to take along. And I kept my glasses in there. 
um, mostly for like when we were traveling, if I was going to sleep on the plane or something, but my regular glasses, I normally wear contacts, but they were in there the whole trip just because it just was convenient. We have some toothpicks. Dirk had a few lemonade packets in there. Different times we would throw like AirPods in here. Um, sometimes we would throw the charger in there just depending where we were going. But primarily our chargers and cords were all in this bottom front pocket here. So I have, you know, we also had like a cheap set of AirPods, like um, earbuds, plug-in earbuds because on the airplane, sometimes you need them. We had an extra charger along uh, one of these, what do they call that? Like a charger bank that you can plug right into the bottom of your phone and then get extra power. We didn't use it a whole lot. That's the charger for that. Um, we had like the Fitbit chargers, wall plug, everything like that was sort of in here at different times. It would be maybe in the top or in the bottom, just depending. So, okay. And then on this side, okay. And then we would just keep whatever on those sides. So, I hope that this is coming out that you can see me okay. Now I'm gonna unlock, okay, so then we had this front pocket. And just for the record, these are very inexpensive backpacks. They were each roughly $20. Um, we opted to not, I tried a bunch of backpacks. I tried really expensive backpacks. I tried, you know, the fancy like for hiking with all the middle parts and all of that. And I'll be honest, it just seemed like more than we needed. And often the size was too big for the hand luggage or carry on or, um, personal size luggage rather than a carry-on. So we ended up at the last minute, I actually took a different bag when we started and the strap lift and it was just kind of a cheap bag, cheap open in the middle backpack. So we ordered this from Amazon when we were in England and that's kind of a story, but it worked out great. So this is a bag with some masks in it. And I had in my bag, originally one of my like purse bag, so to speak, I had this little um, change purse. And I realized very quickly that I didn't need that, so I put it in here, and it spent the rest of the trip kind of shoved in this part, compartment here. Then we had two pair of shoes, or a pair of shoes for each of us, like a slip-on, thinking that, oh, and see, and I'm fortunate that mine fit right inside of my husband's shoes. Uh, our thought was that we might need it if we went to the pool, if we went to the beach, if it was nice enough. And to be honest, neither one of us ever wore these. I wore my sandals one night, out to dinner when we were in Italy, only because my feet were sore and I was tired of being in my boots. And maybe I just felt like I needed to wear them because I took them along, I don't know. But honestly, we could have lived without this, so that would have been weight and space that we didn't need to have with us. That is all that is in this outside pocket right here. It's just that stuff, so there's that. <laughs> Then the main in compartment, the inside main compartment. Okay, this is kind of a travel tip. I'm gonna throw, fold this backwards so you can kind of see in here, okay? This is a travel tip, and I learned this somewhere. I bought these mesh bags on Amazon. They were very inexpensive. They came in a couple different sizes, I believe. But these three bags here are our bathroom items. Our, uh, this is, I call this the medicine cabinet. I have a nail clipper kit. I have um, some pills. Um, hopefully you can kind of see that in there. I have a, like, I put a menagerie in a baggie full of um, like Excedrin, Ibuprofen, Advil, um, Tylenol, things like that are all in that little baggie. I have Band-Aids. I have some pads. I have ear plugs in case we needed them. I had a shout wipes in there. Um, I guess that's about everything, you know, a little bit, just just kind of like a medicine cabinet type of set. Then I have another bag. I had to have Band-Aids because I cut my finger, I hurt my finger. And so I had Band-Aids. I just, we bought them on the go. Um, I have a lotion bar. I like to do, I like to avoid liquids as much as I can. So I have a lotion bar in this bag. These little sponges, great hint. Got that off of a travel group that I'm in on Facebook. And these little sponges are, you can buy them a big pack full, like 500 for, I don't know, $5 or $10 or something. They're super, super thin. They weigh literally nothing. And then you get them wet and they function as a washcloth, 
wherever you are. You know, they're just a small round, like a good cosmetic wipe. You can clean your face with them and then throw it away when you leave that location. And so this is very nice. Europe, they often don't have, um, they often don't have washcloths. Toothbrush and toothpastes are in here. I have an extra set of contacts, which mine are two weeks. So I had two sets and I used one set while we were traveling and now I have one set left in there. But you never know if you're going to need something's going to happen with your contacts. We shared a deodorant our entire trip. So there's just a deodorant in there. Okay, so this little baggie. I have a hair tie, a couple razors, nail file, you know, things like that in there. But what's nice about not having all of this in one big kit, like your big, whoops, your big cosmetic set, is that you need all this space. These become more pliable and they can kind of squish down into those spaces that you have available in your bag. And then this is my makeup kit. That would be like time for another video some other day um, to talk about how I'm, and I honestly could have, some of this I hardly used. The more that we traveled, the farther we went, the less I actually wore makeup. But that's beside the point. But one key quick thing I'm going to tell you is I took a contact case, um, a contact lens, eye, lens case, um, cleaned it. So it was used for my contacts. Then I washed it really good with soap and water. And then I put my liquid foundation in there in each of those two holes. And that is all I took for liquid foundation. And that worked for the entire three weeks. So, and I still have some in there. So there's plenty of, that really holds a lot if you don't use a whole lot of liquid foundation. Um, and then I've gone to a lot of these little balms, like this is a blush stick. You could use it on your lips as well. Um, stick shadows and things like that so that I don't have a lot of liquids. So I can have my makeup bag, very simple. And like I say, I actually could have eliminated some of that. I also have in here a small bag with jewelry and I did not take a lot of jewelry, mostly just earrings um, and a ring, one ring, one necklace. And something that if I would have lost it or left it somewhere, I would not have been extremely upset about, okay? Now, this is real time. We just came home two days ago. So this is real unpacking. This is my nightgown that I wore the last night that I shoved in there in the morning um, when we were leaving to go to the airplane. So this is dirty clothes. I like to try to keep things separate if I can. And then I have a packing cube in here, one full big sized packing cube. This cube, now I repacked a few times along the trip. There's nothing else in the bottom of this bag, but there is a pocket. First, there's this little pocket right here, okay? This, when we were traveling, I don't have them in there right now because we used them, but this is where I would put our, like maybe an extra credit card. And I also put our passports in here. I have it always zipped. It's the, the side of the, the backpack that when you are wearing it, it's up against your back. So there's no way anyone could have ever just pickpocketed their way into there. And under that, there is a big pocket here. And inside of there, I kept, our, um, I have another, this was a rewards credit card that we used most of. Um, I have a copy of our passports and our bank cards and our credit cards and our vaccination cards and our medical health insurance cards. I just keep a copy of it in there. And honestly, that stays with most of our, with our travel stuff. So it's just an easy thing to have in case you ever need it. All right, so in this packing cube, I did, I'm going to show you this first. So I have in here, there's a back flap. That's where the straps go. This would be up against your back. This flap on this particular backpack is completely like a waterproof plastic in there. So when we went swimming, we went swimming at JFK at TWA Airline. We went swimming. <laughs> it's a long, another fun story. Um, the day that we left, I put our wet suits in there. Now on the way home, about the last four or five days, I just kept putting our dirty underwear in there. I don't wanna pull it all out and show you, but I put them in there, it's nice and neatly, neatly folded and pushed all the way to the bottom so that all of our dirties are in there and they're separated in a nice kind of, a, you know, like a vinyl lined pocket that they can't get anything else, you know, dirty smelling dirty whatever so that will come out for laundry day here now that we're home and this this is dirty laundry so i'm going to throw that back in there that is everything that was in this backpack so except for there is a little package of um sanitizing 
wipes down in there, which is pretty close to empty. So in this, now over the course of our trip, I did repack the packing cubes. One originally was his clothes, one originally was my clothes, and then we had like a shared one that had socks and underwear in it, and um, we have a total of four packing cubes. At some point, I started putting things we weren't wearing, like we knew we didn't need the cold clothes anymore for, for cold weather, so I put them in here. So this particular packing cube, and this is a condensing or a compressing packing cube, so it really technically has two zippers. One zipper is to open it, the other zipper is actually com like compressing it. So it's like giving it that extra, taking the air out so that it's taking up less space in the bag. So see if it would have been a normal, a normal packing cube, it would be about that thick. But because I could, condense, I could compress it. Now I can't always compress everything and you'll see there's one that I couldn't, it had too much in it. But So in here, we have clothes that we may have worn once like my husband wore these pants one day while we were laundering his jeans because he just wore his jeans the whole trip. Um, there's a pair of leggings. So let's see, my husband, I have a pair of pants. Those are just regular men's kind of like a, like a material, not jean pant, okay? Then I have a button down shirt. He wore that a couple nights over a t-shirt and then that was fine. He didn't have to, we didn't feel like it had to be laundered, but it also could be worn again, but it isn't completely clean. I have a t-shirt in here that I think was laundered, so I just stuck it in there when I knew that we weren't going to need it anymore. We took one pair of shorts for him in case it was really nice. Probably could have got away with shorts, but we just never dug them out. So those are clean and have not been worn. For me in here, I had something that was not worn, is I brought a dress. It's just a simple dress. I thought, oh, if it's nice out, I can wear that. But it was never really dress appropriate. It was never really warm enough to wear just a dress by itself. And I ended up at some point, I also switched into this mind gear of why dirty it if I don't need it. So I didn't. Um, I also took this white shirt. I wore it one day. This was something that I've heard a lot of tips about. Oh, always take a white shirt. You can just throw it on as a quick like over if it's chilly or whatever. It's not really my style. I wore it one day and it was fine, but I can honestly say it's not the thing for me. So I don't know that I would take it another time. So I have a pair of leggings. I had two pair of leggings along thinking I could layer them under my pants in case it was cold and it was never that cold. So I wore them, I, I think I wore one pair home and I wore one pair one time, but these I don't think I ever did wear. Then I have an undershirt, like a layering shirt. This is a merino wool long sleeve black shirt. I did wear this one day underneath one of my sweaters when we were in Edinburgh, Edinburgh. Um, Scotland. So that has been worn once, but that was it. And I could have honestly easily lived without it. Then I took along these coated jeans. They're supposed to look sort of leather. They're, 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 they call them coated jeans. Um, these I wore a lot and I felt very in style there. That was a very, like, that was very popular. You saw it a lot in across Europe all over. I really like them. I will be wearing them quite a bit. I see that they are coming out fairly wrinkly after being in there. So I'm definitely going to hang them and figure out how do you launder these because I've not laundered them yet. So I'll figure that out. Okay, so there's packing cube number one. Okay, now the next backpack. Now that was backpack one and this is backpack number two. Same size, essentially same size. I have a couple masks that are loose out here because we were required to wear them on a couple of the flights that we were on. Okay, and I have to tell you that in this pocket we had something I think I, oh, I know what I had. I brought back two bottles of um, uh, balsamic vinegar that were small enough that they were like two ounces or two and a half ounces so I could bring them home. Um, I had those in here and I had some key rings and jewelry, little jewelry pieces and such that I brought back for my kids, our daughters. And those are gone. I've already given them to the girls. So. That's why that pocket is empty, but that worked perfectly. And those were liquid, so they were easy to get to if I needed to take them out when we went to the airport. But most of the airports we went to did not require that I removed our liquid bag. Then in here, throughout the trip, I never, I'm like a, not really a hoarder, but throughout the trip, when we got kind of a cool, like a map, okay, this is Dirk's International Driver's License. When we got 
Like if we went somewhere and they gave us, I can't get this stuff out because it's all shoved in there from the whole trip, but it's basically like paperwork stuff that we would get that I thought was kind of neat. Like we got a business card here from a place we ate in Paris. So I stuck it in there. Um, we have some travel maps, like quick touristy maps. Here's one from uh, Barcelona, the Barcelona, you know, little travel maps like that. Sometimes I think I might want to use them. I don't know. Maybe I don't when I go to make my travel book um, because I always make a travel book um, after my trip as our souvenir, our real souvenir of the trip with pictures and, you know, some dialogue. And sometimes I'll take a picture of that and then use that in my thing. So I did stick those right in that outside pocket. Just whenever I had them in my pockets from the day, I just throw them in there. And some I did throw away. And then in this pocket right here, which I per personally, I just love that this pocket is right where it's at. I put our liquids bag. Now, for my husband and I, we only needed one bag of liquids. I feel like I keep cutting my head off. I'm sorry about that. Um, we only needed one bag of liquids for the two of us. And this is a TSA approved and we had no problems in any other country. It's a one quart bag. It's plastic or like a, like a vinyl plastic. So it's nice and sturdy, very inexpensive. I think they came in a three pack on Amazon and I have all the liquid stuff that we needed for the two of us. And something is leaking, which it didn't the whole trip. So that's kind of great that it didn't leak before, but it is now. And I just have, I, and one thing that I would say is a little tip as well, my husband and I both took colognes that we like to spray because I think you do feel like when you've worn clothes over and over that it's nice to have a little freshness and I don't know. And then also I took one of these, a fabric, Febreze fabric refresher. And a couple times when we were in a place for three days, I would hang our clothes and just kind of get, a, you know, the things that we wear regularly that wouldn't have to be washed. I know that sounds crazy, but trust me that like I have merino wool sweaters, you'll see. I took along um, our jeans, um, just different pieces that you can rewear, and I would just spray them a little bit and let them hang, and that way they're nice and fresh. So that was kind of a nice one, nice thing. But we are not, we didn't need a lot of liquid because again, I've already condensed my makeup down to not needing much. And other than that, I mean, what, what more would you really have a lot of liquid for? So I love that compartment. There is a pocket down in there, but I have nothing in it so that's kind of another I had more space but remember that even if you put something in a pocket it keeps it organized but it still takes up space so you take up space either in the outside or the inside of the pocket so okay so then we just on this particular backpack we just have the main opening then and so in here I have I want brought back a few souvenirs. I'm just going to pull them out. I'm not going to show you what they are because I don't think it really matters, but I just, you can see that I had quite a few pieces of souvenir items that I could stick in there. Okay. Then I have in this bag, this is from our very last day, our very last night that we were like, we got up the next morning and got on the plane. And so there is like our last, the stuff we wore that needed to be washed. Like I have a tank top, um, those leggings I mentioned, and then underwear are in here. That was just mainly out of convenience. We got that bag from the hotel room, the closet in the hotel room. I have a straightener. I have purchased a straightener that is a European plug straightener. To me, it's easier to just have that and take it when we go to Europe, as opposed to taking along an extra plug and my straightener. I don't know, it's just, it was convenient for me to buy that and that's what I did, so that's easy. Then we have this packing cube this packing cube and flat in the bottom i don't know if you can really see that i have it flat put in you know like this way is the third packing cube and that gives a nice base for my backpack and it my backpack would stay very well that way okay it did have a pack in here and it did have a pack in here but i never needed them for anything fortunately and in the way bottom is one more small souvenir that I bought. I actually forgot about these. That's exciting. Yeah. They're like postcards, but they're very pretty from Rome. So, I mean, like not cheesy postcards, but very pretty postcards. So, okay. So that backpack is now empty. And on here, 
I'm going to show you these three. I'm going to start with this one, the smallest one. It is, again, a compression backpack, which I like, but you can't always. Like, you'll see with this one, I could not compress it. So, that's fine. It's just a regular bag, or regular packing thing. A compression, you know, you can zip around and it gives you extra space. And that's what I do when I fill it. And then I try to compress it down to make it take up less space. This one is almost empty now because this held our clean underwear and clean socks. So, we came back, and it's funny, my husband and I, because we did laundry about seven days before, six days before we came home. So we each had one pair of, one pair of underwear left in there that were clean and then our socks. But, and as you remember, our dirty underwear are over in the um, lined, vinyl lined pocket of the backpack, the other backpack. So this was just kind of nice. The smallest one was the easiest one to always know that's where the clean underwear are. Okay, then I have this backpack, which is, I don't remember, so I'm going to open that up and see. Oh, this is clean clothes. So we did laundry in Rome, and that was about seven days before, or six or seven days before we came home. When we did that laundry, I put some things in here that I thought we're not going to use them again, or we don't need them necessarily. So I have a pair of pants for me. These pants, I will tell you, they're from Arab, they're from Anatomy. The fabric is terrific. They hold up well. You can hang them out so that you don't have to wash them a lot because they're very thin. They dry very fast when you wash them and they fold down to almost nothing and they weigh almost nothing. These are the best travel pants ever. They are thin, so if you're going somewhere cold, you may wanna put a pair of leggings or tights underneath for the extra warmth, but they are terrific. I love them. They're expensive but they're worth it. And I think I bought these on Poshmark. So you can occasionally find them in a second hand, but not very often. So, okay. Then there's a bathing suit and another bathing suit. So these were worn once because we wore them at, when we went swimming at JFK airport. But other than that, we never went swimming on our trip, unfortunately. Then I have a shirt that I washed and it is all wrinkly as I, I don't know if you can see it on there, but I knew that going into the warmer climates, I probably wouldn't need it. And I just got to a point where I decided since it's clean, I'm going to put it in here with the cleans and I won't use it unless I'm desperate for it. I took along a rip skirt. Rip skirt's another one that I just love. Very, very thin material, but very durable. You can, I mean, a rip skirt is like a wraparound skirt, has the Velcro, very comfortable very resilient, like water-wise, and if you do wash it, then you just hang it to dry and it dries out really fast. So that's great. It can also be like a swimsuit cover. I have a black swimsuit, so I could put my swimsuit on, wear that down to the pool, theoretically, but we never went, so whatever. I took a white tank top along, thinking I might need that as an undershirt, and never used it. Go figure. My husband, we had a merino sweater for him that he likes to wear under something. Um, I think he did wear it one time out, um, Oh, you know, as an outer, but he, we didn't need it because again, it just wasn't that cold. And so we never, he hardly wore it. He wore it, I think one, once or twice, I can't remember. And then we took these Under Armour, like I call them leggings for my husband, which is funny to think of your husband in leggings, but anyways, never wore them. We took them in case it was cold and it wasn't cold enough. So we never needed them. So this is essentially all clean. I could easily put them all away. Um, or at least hang them like the merino wool sweater that doesn't necessarily need wash. And then our last packing cube. So as you see, the theme of this video is even though we were only packing two backpacks that are per, that are carry or personal sized backpacks, we still had more than we needed and could have lived with less. And I wish we would have just, it, they weren't terribly heavy. Oh, I should have weighed them. When we were leaving, one was 17 pounds and one was 13 pounds. So between the two of us, we had 30 pounds of luggage and I never struggled to carry it. I never felt like, oh my gosh, this is way too heavy or anything like that. But I will say having less would have been even better. And then maybe I would have had more room to bring a few more things back because I did have that in mind that I can't buy things because I don't have room to bring them back. So now this is all going to be washed. This is not dirty like, ooh, this is gross and stinky, but these have been worn. So there's a t-shirt from my husband. Here's one of those merino wool sweaters that I was talking about. It's thin, lightweight, but it's very comfortable and very temperature. Um, it's good for warm to cold. So the 60s, 50s to 70s, it was very good. 
okay? And I have another one exactly the same, only a different color. So the same thing, merino wool, it's breathable. You just hang it to refresh it. I will wash them now that we're home, but throughout the whole trip, I did not have to. I have a bra here. I'm not gonna hold that up for you to see, but I have a bra that I wore a lot. And so it's, I decided to put it in the dirty clothes about two days ago, a t-shirt for my husband. We, he, we took two dry fit shirts for him for the warmer climates and he did wear them. He was able to wear these short sleeve dry fit shirts um, or golf shirts, whatever you might wanna call them. Two, they're actually identically the same, only two different colors, similar to my sweaters. <laughs> Anyhow, but he liked, you know, he was able to wear them. And then if it got chilly, he just put his puffer coat on or his sweatshirt. He also takes a hoodie, which is not a European thing at all, but we didn't care. And he wore his hoodie a lot too. And we love, you know, we love that hoodie. So these are dirty socks. There's two, two pair. And we had two pair that we brought home. So they're also wool. So these wool socks, you can hang them out. This sounds like totally not American, but you can hang them or lay them out overnight or over one day. Like we would kind of alter which days we wore each socks and they don't smell, they don't absorb, they're not odor, they're just fine. And so we did rewear our socks regularly. We have another t-shirt. I have a shirt that I took along. It's just kind of a short sleeve, but maybe a little bit of a longer short sleeve if there is such a thing, like it comes down to maybe here. And um, again, just a variety of a shirt. And in the very bottom is a black tank top. And I did wear that quite often under my sweaters so that I felt like I had a layer that wasn't necessarily getting, I don't know, touched, wasn't necessarily touching my body, my sweaters. So that is it. That's everything we took. We each wore our heaviest shoes we each wore a pair of pants, which my pair of pants that I, oh yeah, neither of them. My husband wore a pair of jeans. I wore a pair of pants, the anatomy pants I was telling you about. I wore the black ones. Same thing, but black, very lightweight, very, you know, and very comfortable. I just love them. Um, I can't say enough about them, but I will say they're expensive. So be prepared when you look at anatomy clothing, they're expensive pants. I think I had, one is the Skyler and the other is like something similar, a similar style. Um, but they are awesome for travel. I wear them at home too. I mean, they're, they're great pants. Um, and I took my, uh, and then what I also wore home, I think I just wore a sweater. I don't even remember what I wore home. It's been a long time, two days at least. But anyhow, so that was our packing. That's what we took. Um, I hope that maybe some of these tips. Oh, one other thing I should tell you. Hold on. over here. I had this bag along. This is just, I mean, it's a fanny pack. I actually bought this secondhand. It's from a brand, I don't know, Fawn Design. Don't know that that matters. It's leather, or at least a leather feel. I'm pretty sure it is leather. Has this little pocket out here. I had lip balm in, and then eventually we ended up putting our coins in there, like our Euro coins, which we have very little left. And I'll be honest, so I wore this a lot. You can do it, of course, across this way, like over, like a, like an over your shoulder. But I didn't like it as well because I had my phone that way. So I'll show you that in a minute. But I, as touristy as it might seem, I put it on like this and then I had my, oh, and I took a jean jacket too. My jean jacket's downstairs. So I wore my jean jacket a lot as that mid-sized type coat. I did miss not having a soft sweater, like a cardigan. I did not take one. I loved my jean jacket 90% of the time, but on occasion, I wished I would have had just a soft sweater. So again, the clothes that I took that I didn't wear, had I been able to know ahead, I could have taken a cardigan and not taken some of those, but that's a whole nother story. But anyway, so I would put this on and have my jean jacket, which covered it to a degree, but it's a very secure way to carry stuff when you're anywhere in a large touristy area where there may be pickpockets. So just something to keep in mind. I was impressed at how much this carried and I vary, it varied depending on whether we were going out for the day from our hotel or our, or our Airbnb, whichever, or whether we were going to the airport. So it's packed right now to the airport. So it was kind of my cabin bag, if you will. So I had this, this is something too that I bought for this trip. It's called the flight flap and it works nice that you can fold it and fold it up like this or so and set your cell phone in it like to watch your cell phone. I'm going to show you this case in a minute too, but like on the airplane, I could do that. Um, 
and set it right on my tray table and have my phone propped so I could watch it without having to hold it. Um, also, at one plane that we were on, I was able to kind of take it and flip it over. And it's very pliable, and you can tell that then you can fold it flat. And I had it stuck in with um, a breakable item so that it would give it a little bit of extra stability so it wouldn't get broken. So that was that's a neat piece, and I kept it in here. Uh, gum. My AirPods, which were, you know, for this for the cabin bag or for our trip home. I would not carry, I would keep the gum. I would not carry the flight flap and I would not carry my AirPods when we're going out for the day. I hadn't have our passports in there. Again, would not carry those when I was going out for the day. Um, they stayed in our hotel or Airbnb. I had a little bag of snacks um, and also a little bag of like sucker candy and <laughs> other snacks that we would just pop those. Sometimes you just want a little something. Oh yeah. And this was from the plane. I had like a granola bar that I didn't eat, and a pen. I always, always pack a pen because it's amazing how much you don't realize that you need a pen until you need it, okay? Then there's a flap inside, and in there I actually have um, a Band-Aid, an extra Band-Aid because of my finger. I had, actually I have a credit card in there that I guess I'll want to take out when I go to clean everything out here. Um, I had some, couple little, um, couple of uh, pills in there. There's only one left, but they were like a Tylenol in case we were out and we felt like we needed something because sometimes you get a headache. I had a little bit of allergy issues. So this is kind of one of those nose nasal sniffers that helps with my allergies. Um, kept a hair tie in there because occasionally you need that when you're out and it's really, really windy or if you're on a boat or something. And I also had a tied, there's band-aids, a tied wipe in there in case I would spill because I'm pretty klutzy that way, uh, pretty sloppy. So all that to say, that's what's in there. That bag, I would have had some of that, like the snacks. I would usually have our hotel key or room key in there. Um, and this just went, and, and I was shocked at how much I could carry in there. I never would have thought that it would be as convenient and useful as it was. And it's hand-free, hands-free. Also, when you're going on the airplane, this does not count because you're wearing it. So it doesn't count as an extra bag, but I actually had a lot in there, as you could see. So, okay, so that was one thing I had a lot and used and felt was really worth it. And then the last thing is, and my phone is obviously being used to record this, but my phone went inside of here. This is called Smartish. I ordered it on Amazon. It came with a hand, with also with a wrist strap that I never used. These are a strap. I put it, carried my phone like this all the time. Love it. Absolutely loved it for travel. I didn't have to worry about where's my phone, digging my phone out, putting my phone away. I could just use it, snap a picture, and just put it back down. Whenever we were in an area, if I had this on, if we were in an area with a lot of pickpockets, because they tell you to be really careful of your phone, I would take this and stick it right in between my fanny pack and turn my fanny pack as much to the side so that it was tucked under my arm. And that worked great. Um, or if I didn't have this or didn't need it, because sometimes I didn't take it with me, I would stick this right in my coat pocket like that so that it wasn't really loose. But otherwise, I could have it loose. I could easily get to my phone all the time. And it has, in here, I've already taken all the stuff out, but I kept my driver's license in there, so I always had ID on me. Kept a credit card. I had one credit card in there. And then I would tuck in some paper euros in this side if I needed them. So again, my phone would have been in there. It's not right now because of, you know, I'm using it. But this little wallet cost me about $12 and I absolutely love it. It is the greatest thing for travel. I will use it a hundred times at least. So, um, and then when I was in our room, like if I was in the hotel room and I just wanted to be looking on my phone, I could easily just detach this strap and just use my phone like that and feel like, it was just fine. And it was also open at the bottom so that it's easy to throw, to put the charger and I didn't have to take it out. So I loved it and it was wonderful and I will use it every time I travel, but it's a little much for every day. So, okay, there you go. That's my video. I know it's longer than I except, expected it to be. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it and um, thanks for watching. And I guess I'll see you when I have more to tell you about my travels or more to tell you about traveling or something. All right. Thank you. Have a great night. Great day.